Hello YouTube and welcome to lesson 12 of Microsoft Word tutorial series and today we're going to look at how to look at the different font options inside of Microsoft Word. So for the font option I'm going to type a Tesla sentence for example this is a, is a sentence and by default what you see is that now I can select the font and you can see that by default Calibri body is being used as the font family and the font size is 11. So if I were to increase the font size, you can see that I can increase the font size just like this. I'll press the arrow keys right here to increase and decrease the font size. And here I can choose the type of the font, for example, or all uppercase or sentence case, or I can also use capitalize each word and so forth. So you can see that the font options are right here at the home ribbon. So over here, what you can also do is you can bold this. So you have a font family of a bold and italics and underline as well. And you can also subscript and superscript this. So for example, if you want to subscript this, you can actually do this from here. And you can also choose different font styles as you can see. So you can select this out and you can see that you can select different font styles right on the go like that. So I'm just gonna press Control Z right there and I'm gonna undo this to back to default. And you can also select this and maybe highlight the font from over here or you can color the font right there. And you can see that these are quite the basic options for the font right here. So if you want more option that is more, if you want to strike to through or anything, then you can actually access more options right here from this menu right here. So you can also press Control plus D as you can see. So this gives a font dialog box. So over here, what you can do is in the font, uh, you can select the font. Oh yeah. So by for selecting the font, you can also select the font right here. For for tutorial font, we actually use Mirror Pro. So you can actually scroll down and select a font of your choice. Or in our case, we can also type it, for example, M-Y-R-I-A-D and P-R-O. That's the font used for YouTube logo right here. And you can see that this is the font right there. So now what you can do is you can right click and uh, you can see that you can also select the font option from over here, just like this. And if you want more options for the font, just go over here onto this icon right here. And in the font section, you can actually select the font right here and then press OK and that will also change the font as you can see right there. So I'm gonna click here again and now I can italics this. You can see that you can you see the preview here. You can uh, increase the font size and you can choose the font color and maybe underline and so forth. And you can also choose the type of the underline right here from the font dialog box right here. And you can also choose the underline color as you can see. You can do all small caps. You can see that small caps is a type of uh, uh, setting that you can use. You can use all caps right here. You can use hidden caps. You can use strike through as you can see double strike through as well superscript and subscript as you can see and what you can do is you can also go to advanced so let me just uh, Disable all of these and go to advanced right here and you can see that I can scale the font up size uh, You can see that I can scale it out so that it squeezes in together or make it smaller And you can see that this actually changes the look of the overall font you can also change the spacing into expanded. You can see that there's more space or you can use condensed for less space. So let me use an expanded space right here. And in the position, you can have a raised font or a lowered font or a normal font. You can also increase the space of the font by points. You can see that um, you can do this and you can also, let's say, have a raised font above just like this. You can also use the kerning of the font. So you can see that this will actually change the font above and you can use con uh, contextual uh, alternatives like there and so forth. You can also use number spacing, number forms and stylus sets and so forth. You can see that this actually changes the styles uh, just like that. You can also go to text effect right here and that will actually bring out other options right here like text fill. So you can have a no fill in the color or a gradient fill if you want. So you can have gradients on your font as well. For example, you want to choose this gradient. You can actually just select this and you can increase the transparency as well. We'll get on to this settings uh, later on when we cover up the graphics part. So you can also have solid lines in the text outline and press OK. And you can see that this actually gives the text effect a unique look. So you can just type, type it and you can see that this is a sentence from uh, from uh, let, let me just type in from all uh, right so you can see that this actually applies over here from tutor 2 and as always please like comment share and subscribe